Yo, what is going on everyone? We are back with some more FIFA 20. It's been a while, it's been a couple of days since I last played this uh, FIFA 20 career mode with Grimsley Town. But we're back, we are back into it. Last, last time out on stream, it was alright. I mean, we are doing okay in the Premier League. I, I tried to check the Premier League table and I don't know why it's not letting me check the Premier League table. I can see books in the chat already. <laughs> Yo, what is up dude? How's it going? I hope you've had a good day. Yeah, it's a Monday, start a new week. We made a few signings. I've got Book messaging me on Xbox already. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, we've made a couple of good few signings last last time out. We got Ampadu in the team. Uh, we still got Greenwood. We got Devecchi from the first uh, from the first episode in season six as well. So that's always good. We got Kabak as well. So we've done. You know, we've done okay so far in the Premier League, and we've got some good signings. Obviously, we've got Ricky in between the sticks at the moment because our number one goalkeeper, Pereira, is out injured. Uh, he's out injured for a good couple of months, so that's, that's less than ideal, but it does mean that Ricky is having to bear the brunt of everything that comes our way. Got Adama Traore as well. He signed on a free transfer at the uh, start of this season. So, yeah, like I say, we've got, we've got a good amount of depth. In the team, we've got a solid midfield, and of course, we've got Greenwood and Sanchez Rebas, the dynamic duo up front uh, for us. So, my only thing at the moment is normally uh, it's been a rule of mine that I will play the first game of every single live stream. But the thing is, this is a Carabao Cup game, and I I'm not too fond on a Carabao Cup. I use it as a way of rotating the team I don't, I don't know if I want to play it if I'm being honest I want to maybe put in a couple of the young players and a couple of the players that perhaps don't get enough games uh, for me as it is and maybe rotate them in and sim this game just because yeah like I say I don't really I don't really care <laughs> I know I mean I know it's a cup competition and you should care about every competition that you're in but me right now I don't it's the EFL Cup. I'm not. I mean, it's against Tottenham. We're going to use it as an excuse just to rotate the squad. We don't necessarily, you know, the EFL Cup isn't one of those ones that your board expects you to do anything with. Obviously, later on down the line, it would be nice to, you know, try and win all the competitions that we can. But at the moment, I think, you know, our main priority this season is just to, you know, survive relegation um, and, and stay in the Premier League. So, in. in for that matter, we're going to go ahead and sim this game. I know I don't normally do this on the streams, but like I say, it's the EFL Cup. I'm not too bothered about it if we lose, and we do lose. Uh, Gabriel Jesus and Deli Ali scoring uh, two goals for Spurs at the uh, at the uh, Spurs Stadium. So I can't I can't really have any complaints about that, to be honest. Like I say, Premier League for me this season is really my main priority. I mean, the FA Cup, we always need to get into, you know quite deep into the FA Cup but as far as I'm concerned in terms of where my priorities lie it's definitely with the Premier League so coming up to the end of October about to sim through into the start of November we got some reports from our youth scouts on the go as well so let's have a look to see if we've got anyone decent Hugh right I mean we do need to sign three players to the uh, defending position he comes in as a right back 44 to 52 maybe it's a bit too low Lewis Green, 50 to 60, 76 to 94, could be okay. We've got Nicholas Wright in there as well. Will Wright, yeah. We've got Sean Robinson, could be decent. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I've got something wrong with my throat. My sinuses are all uh, all blocked up. Got Max Phillips, who could be could be another decent CDM. Uh, Ed Martin, uh, sorry about that, mate. Jamie Murphy as well. Come on, guys. I need I need some centre backs. I need some defenders. That's what I need. Jay Harris, you can stay in there. I think we'll leave you guys in there for now. Let's quickly get into this. Uh, Diogo Neves, Branco, you're too low in your overall. I don't know why you're even in there. Same as you, Bruno Ferreira and Guilherme Alvarez. They're not really my cup of tea. We'll leave these guys in there for now. And then we will have a look at Cooper, who we sent to Spain. 
Found some decent players apart from you, Bruno Cuesta. Yeah, he's got some decent players. We've got another goalkeeper in the mix, which I don't know what it is. We always seem to be finding goalkeepers. I do not want to be the manager of Ecuador. And I also don't want to be the manager of Bulgaria. Like I say, the only international offer that I will accept will be to be in charge of England. Mate, you're going to be in the team. Don't you worry about that. I honestly hate it when they get annoyed when I rotate the squad for one game and then they will get really pissy with me because they feel like they're not going to play the game. But that's okay. just not true. Welcome, everyone. We'll, well I stick with, with questions now. Why do you stick with Vogel? Hey man, look. What's up with Vogel? Vogel's brilliant. Our momentum is not dropping. Hey look, we are, we're not going to underestimate Norwich. Obviously on paper we are maybe a slightly okay. better team. But we're not going to underestimate any Premier League side this season. Like I say, we are around the mid-table. Off fire picked up an injury, which is less than ideal in terms of our goalkeeper situation. So now we currently have no backup goalkeeper to play for us on the bench. Uh, which is going to be interesting going forward. Let's put Sanchez Ribas over on the left and we will put Greenwood. Uh, actually, Greenwood can go on the left and, you know, Sanchez Ribas on the right. We're going to put Linz, Davis, and of course Mason Moore in the middle. Cabral over on the left. Lombo Suarez can be slotted back into the back of the defense. And Ampadu can go in there as well. Ricky is there. Oh, this is not good for our bench. We need a goalkeeper. I didn't actually see how long a fire is out for. I mean, obviously, it's uh, he's not a our best player but he is still our backup goalkeeper nonetheless so it would be nice to have at least one backup goalkeeper available for us actually yeah we'll put L yeah we'll put Lemby on we'll put Lemby in there I mean like I say the, the the bench situation is not great at the moment uh let's have a look let's just check our inbox a fire's out for two months wow wow uh yeah I mean I'm not panicking for a goalkeeper just yet but what we are going to do without further ado we're going to get in and play the first game on this episode well playing the first game it's the second game of the episode but it's a home game against Norwich so let's see what we can do here um, I'm hoping that we can pick up all three points obviously that is always a hope in these games that we do play because the games that we're simming aren't perhaps going the way that we want them to go so it's all the more important that when we do sim or when we do play games that we do try and secure the three points as much as we can so we're getting into it now this game against Norwich let's go Grimsby against Norwich at Blundell Park alright here we go so calm it down you don't have to do anything special just relax with it We're still sticking with the 3-1-4-2 formation it seems to be the formation that is giving us I guess the most success at the moment it was obviously the formation that we used in the championship for the majority of last season oh my gosh what a way to start Cabral on the far side makes a brilliant run cuts back inside squares the ball across to Mason Greenwood who's just there to just guide it past the goalkeeper look at that Effortless from Mason Greenwood. Well, what a start that is. Goal. What an absolutely amazing start. Oh, it's gone through the legs of the defender as well. Perhaps that's why the goalkeeper was a bit late to react to that. He's that's what I'm talking about. Easy, that. easy start. Look at that. Inside the five minutes, Mason Greenwood has got seven goals in the league so far this season. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we like to start off a live stream here. One nil straight away. No hanging about. Oh, that has uh, that has improved my mood quite substantially. Normally, normally it takes us some time to actually get a goal in the first game, but getting a goal inside the first five minutes is always, always good. Certainly, I mean, not just for winning all three points and trying to move forward and win the game, but trying to uh, oh, trying to get off to a good start in this stream is always is always good. Liverpool down in ninth. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Ampadu, Ampadu. Oh my gosh. I need to stop talking. Whenever I'm talking, I don't pay attention. They've equalised straight away. Oh my gosh, something tells me this is going to be a goal fest. We need to get this goal advantage back ASAP. Oh, come on, lads. Simple passes, man. Simple passes. Keep it on, keep it on. Unlucky, unlucky Linz. Stay on him. 
good defending again Linz maybe next time try to keep a hold of the ball it's not it's not it's not great but it's not bad either they're going for the long throw we got to try and yeah you know we, we oh my gosh how have we just been done like that oh my gosh I mean obviously we've got Ricky in goal so he's maybe a, a, certainly a lot less experienced than our first choice goalkeeper but he is still going to be able to do the job for us, hopefully. I mean, that was maybe a bit lackluster defending there. Perhaps not his fault. But hopefully we can rectify this. Here we go. Greenwood is through again. Greenwood's easy as you like. Makes it 2-1. Gets his second in the game. Let's go. Silencing the away fans. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. 2-1. Get the goal advantage back almost immediately after they equalised. 2-1 inside the first 20 minutes of this game against Norwich. So it's not been, yeah, I mean, we, we haven't been great defensively and I'll be the first person to put my hands up and say that I'm not great at defending, but we are we are looking very, very dangerous going forward. Look at this, the through ball to Sanchez Rebas again. He's looking, he's waiting for the runner Greenwood. Oh, Sanchez Rebas a touch, just a bit too heavy. He was looking there to try and cut back in on his left foot. And maybe bend it into the top right corner or top left corner of the goal. But it just wasn't to be there. So, got to pay attention now. Defending. That's it. Good, good play, lads. Easy, easy as you like. Greenwood is through again. He's almost in for his hat-trick. Oh, there's his hat-trick. A first half hat-trick inside half an hour. There we go, Mason Greenwood, absolutely sensational stuff from the young English striker there, combining with his strike partner, Sanchez Ribas, picking up his third goal in this game, his hat-trick. Now we just gotta, we just gotta pay attention at the back now, don't do anything stupid, that's it, get the foot in there, win the ball back, play on the counter-attack. Oh, maybe should have played that lofted ball over the top and that would have found Sanchez rebound. So it wasn't to be though. Norwich now attacking down this near side. Waiting for the ball, waiting for runners. Brilliant hold up play by Norwich. Good interception right at the last minute. The pass though is not the one. That's it, easy for Daniele Ricky. easy mate. Roll it out. Simple to Ethan, Ethan Ampadu, playing on the left of the back three. The Vecchi is looking for it on this near side, he's running. Cutting back inside, he's looking for someone to play it to. Found it to Greenwood, Greenwood has found Sanchez Ribas to the Vecchi. Oh, a silky, silky passing move to lead us into scoring our fourth goal. That's it, mate. Do your little... Daniel Sturridge dance over in the corner. Devecchi up to 86, obviously signed him as a free agent. 85 rated free agent. What a hit that is on his right foot. Christian Devecchi picks up his fifth goal in the Premier League. 4-1 up inside the first half here against Norwich. What a way to start this episode or this live stream rather. I keep calling them episodes, I know they're not episodes. Now, can he take them on? Oh my god, Greenwood is there. Oh, Greenwood almost. Almost Greenwood with his fourth goal of the game, but the goalkeeper was quick off his line. We were looking for the chip over the top of the goalkeeper coming rushing out off his line, but couldn't get there in time. 4-1. Brilliant, brilliant from the lads so far. I mean, you can see the fans really appreciating the effort and the work rate that all of the players have put in bit upsetting to concede uh, a goal in the way that we did, just, you know, sloppy, lackadaisical defending, but I'll take it, you know, 4-1, I'm not going to complain about that at all. There we go, brilliant tackle, now just keep the ball, don't do anything stupid with it. Oh, oh, ref, that is definitely, where was the advantage there? That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. That's it, force him into the mistake. Under some pressure. Greenwood. Greenwood. Greenwood is going, oh, almost with his fourth goal of the game. Oh my. Whip it in, whip it in. Goalkeeper comes out to punch. Oh! 
Oh my word! Almost, almost from the follow-up. Goalkeeper punched it away. I couldn't be, couldn't see who it was. It might have been Race. It might have been Carlos Linz. One of our we'll central midfielders taking a shot from about we'll 25 yards EA out. Sports. Comes cannoning back off the crossbar. And they somehow managed right, to get it away. Game, what a way to start the second half that would have been. Wasn't to be and, uh, the Norwich player power on this near side. Game. Tries to control Here's it to keep it in play. Just miscontrols it. It goes out for a throw on the Grimsby. By Here we go, Devecchi now on that far side. Greenwood, Greenwood's looking for someone. Thank you very much, Alan. Oh, oh my gosh, what a goal that would have been from Mason Moore, the captain. Look at that, all over the top. Looks like it maybe just came off of his shoulder. Couldn't control it. Goalkeeper in no man's land. If that was on target, what a goal that would have been for the captain. It wasn't to be. Half an hour left now in this game, 4-1 up. Second half, not as exciting as the first half so far, but there's still plenty of time. Obviously, the three-goal lead is nothing to be, uh, you know, laughed about. It's, uh, it's been brilliant from the lads so far in today's game. Let's go. Sanchez Ribas. Oh, my gosh, how? He's going for the finesse shot. And it's come back off of the post. Second time we've hit the frame of the goal in the second half. Uh, I mean, we, we basically have the job more or less done after the first half. But you know what we're all about here at Grimsby. We're all about getting more and more goals. Really letting the goals flow. Obviously, still only playing on professional difficulty because the experiment with playing on world class didn't go as planned. Oh, why are you being fancy with it? Oh, Sanchez Ribas just trying to get the ball out from his feet. Wasn't to be, however. Was not to be. Big hoofed clearance from the Norwich defender playing a long ball, trying to get over the top of our defensive line, but we deal with it phenomenally well. Sanchez Ribas to Greenwood. Greenwood plays it into Linz. He's going there. Linz has still got it. There we go. Linz with the control. After the through ball to... Through ball from Mason Greenwood, should I say. Look at that. Defender tries to do all that he can. Linz keeps his cool under pressure. Gets it onto his favoured right foot. Arrows it towards the goalkeeper's left-hand side. He can't get down and react in time. 5-1. Fantastic way. Two goals. The second goal in the league. He's coming off. That's his final contribution of the game. What a way to leave the pitch. Lemby is coming on in his place. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, Davis. Ampadu, Ampadu, Ampadu. That's it, Ampadu. Greenwood is on it. Greenwood is on it. Greenwood's going to go for a long shot. Oh, ambitious. Ambitious from Mr. Mason Greenwood there. Very ambitious indeed. Cabral. Coming off for, I believe, Sean Lee, is it? I think so. I mean, Cabral been fantastic yet again. Helping with that first goal, of course, to start things off here. Five minutes left in the second half. 5-1. Bailey's coming on. My bad. Playing on the wrong side. Good defending, though, from Kabak. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Easy, lads. It's just easy. It is just too easy at the moment. However, the passing needs to improve going forward. The final ball has not been not been fantastic in all of the games that we've played, to be honest. Oh, Ricky with a smart save. Wasn't to know that the Norwich City striker was offside there, but he makes the save over to his right-hand side. Nonetheless, makes it look easy as well. 5-1, it looks like it's going to be the final score in this one against Norwich. Greenwood. Oh, uh, the Bailey. Bailey's offside. I thought he was. He looked offside. Definitely looked offside. But yeah, like we say, guys, 5-1, final score against Norwich in the first game that we play on this stream. 
couldn't really have asked for a better way to start this live stream. Look at that, Mason Greenwood, five shots, three goals. Hat-trick inside, half an hour in the first half. Fantastic from all of the lads, really. I mean, that was just a fantastic performance. Norwich slightly edged us out on possession, but certainly didn't feel like that whilst we were playing that. Just a couple of questions for you. A couple of questions for me. Thank you very much. Hey. Dude, stop getting on my back about Rogel. Greenwood was fantastic today, you know. It's a competition. It's a competition. That'll be all, thank you. Norwich just weren't up to our level in the game today. What does that put us? That puts us into ninth place. That's okay. I'm 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 happy with that. I'm happy with you know sitting in mid table. That is where we want to be finishing this season. Get a nice secure mid-table finish and then we can push on going forward into next season, of course. Sam Davis, great win. Yeah, mate, I expect more of it for sure. I expect more from everyone, to be honest. In November now. Got Watford in the next game. Watford are actually doing surprisingly well. They're sitting sixth place on 24 points. Got some players going out on international duty. Oh, they're telling me about my youth development. What's going on here? Yeah, well, sign for it. Yeah. I have got some defenders that I'm working on. I'm, I'm sending my scouts out to find me some defensive-minded players, but it just doesn't seem to be giving me any one decent back at the moment. Uh, let's rotate the squad. We're going to obviously sim this game against uh, Watford. Let's put Traore on the pitch. Let's give Lemby a game and let's also put Clifton in the team. Why the hell not? Coman can go out on the left. We will rest Lombo Suarez. Put Marquez de Oliveira. Looks like Ricky has to stay in between the sticks for us because we have no other option at the moment. So he's going to be getting a lot of game time for us over the next couple of months at least. Let's sim this one away from home against Watford. Our swimming hasn't been too great so far. I mean, Watford look like they're in European competition. Look at that. 3 nil. Oh, that's not great, is it? That is definitely not great. Oh, well. Like I say, I mean, we could play every single game and win every single game, but we want to try and make it as realistic as we can. Someone has just picked up an injury. I think that might be Mason Moore who's just picked up an injury. Yeah, mate, that's not good. Our, our injured list keeps getting longer and longer. Let's put Edson Race in there. Uh, I feel like... Well, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll improve his attacking or whatever or not. Lopez Galate, the left back that we signed, the young left back, up to 76. Obviously, we don't play with a left back or a right back at the moment, but there's always we're, we're always open to change. I mean, 3-1, 4-2 has been working a treat for us so far, but... Okay, so he's only out for seven days. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. We're going to sim one more game, see how it goes. We're just behind Liverpool, above Southampton in the league as well. Looks like it's another international break. Not playing on the Sunday or the Saturday. Edson Race up to 79 finally. He's been sitting at that 78 rating for quite quite a long time now. You know, the other midfielders who he signed around the same time of him have certainly been on the rise a lot quicker than he has. Coming up against Newcastle in the next game, they're doing surprisingly well as well. Up into 7th. Sam Davis yet again complaining about me rotating them out of the squad for one game oh man i mean sometimes you know if this is if this is what it's like to be a football manager it does it were really great on me if all of my players got really butt hurt all the time that i took them out of the squad even though they are all starting players so that's uh frustrating mason moore we're gonna rotate mason moore for race actually moore's been playing quite a few games Obviously, we are, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put Rogel on the left. We're going to put Ampadu down onto the bench. And Kavak can come on. That's okay. I mean, we don't necessarily want Clifton on the bench. We'll put Lemby on the bench. Maybe we put Triori on the bench instead of Bailey as well. Oh, man. 
Let's sim this game. It's a home game against Newcastle. Might be a bit difficult, but we've got out pretty much our A team out on the pitch at the moment, or our best team that we can put out. 2-2. Two, two. I mean, they do miss a penalty, so I don't know if Ricky saved that, but certainly always good. Greenwood and Davetti both picking up the goals for us at home. 2-2 two, two draw against Newcastle. All right, quickly move on with this training. Have a look who is talking, who is getting annoyed. Davis, don't pressure yourself. Hey, look, mate, I'm proud of you, Sanchez Rebass. Oh, he wants a loan. That's, I mean, that's not too bad. He, he wants a loan. Sean Lee wants a loan. I mean, he's not really getting a lot of game time, if I'm being honest. You know, with the amount of right-sided wingers that we actually have in our team. Yeah, he's not getting as much game time as he perhaps should be. I mean, he was sensational for us last season. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, I mean, he's already on the loan list. Okay. I don't know why, I don't know why he's complaining then. He's already on the loan list. We're trying to get you a loan away, mate, but... No one wants you. No one wants you at the moment. So... We're in 11th. If we win this game against Brighton, we'll go up to 23 points, move up a couple of positions. Maybe Australia are coming after us. We do not want to go for the Australia job. Like I say, the only international offer I'm accepting is if we get offered to be given the England job, which I will more than happily take at this moment in time. So that's our best team that we can put out. We'll leave... Uh, hmm. We'll put Kabak on the bench and we'll start Ampadu. I know Ampadu was moaning slightly to me. I feel like we'll put Moore on the pitch as well. I don't know why Moore is getting upset. Mate, you're the captain. You are the club captain. Why are you getting so upset? We are going to put Coman on the pitch as well. Give him a bit of a run out. So let's play this game. Second game on the stream that we're going to play against Brighton. Away from home. Let's go. We're going to have them play in their green kit just to make things a lot easier for us. So let's go away from home against Brighton. Coming up to the end of November in our first season in the Premier League. It's been okay so far. Obviously still adjusting to life in the Premier League. Just uh, trying to survive this season and then push on into next season if we do survive. I mean it's looking more than likely that we are going to stay up. I don't think I'll ever be putting myself in a position where we are going to get relegated. To the goals he already this season. Hopefully He's he can. The top the oh, league. Greenwood is the top scorer. That's good. That's good. I didn't realise that Greenwood was the top scorer in the league. In Brighton the oh, Brighton have got Riyad Mahrez. Okay. This is looking like a... Could be a saucy game against the... Uh, against the fairly strong looking Brighton outfit. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. I don't know... Yeah, I'm not. Ex I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to expect really from from this Brighton side. Not sure where they are in the league. I feel like they're probably below us, but Phil Jones is playing at Brighton as well. What is going on with this FIFA save? Here we go. Sanchez Ribas looking. Oh, the counter attack is too much from these guys. Sanchez Ribas rockets hit into the left hand side of the goal. The counter attack is too much. The counter attack was just way too much. That ball forward from the defence straight to Sanchez Ribas. Plays a nice little one two around the corner with Mason Greenwood. Look at that. Nice little one two. Runs in to the 18 yard box and just pings it with his right boot. Five goals for Sanchez Ribas in the Premier League. Not as prolific as Greenwood, but you know, they're, they're both feeding off each other really. Can't, I can't really remember how many times it one really has assisted the other, but they've certainly so been working well together. You know, we, we signed Greenwood, what, halfway through last season? Um, and we weren't so really close. too sure how it was going to go, but it seems to have been working out pretty well, certainly throughout last season as well. Towards the end of last season, they were combining well on the goals. The Vecchi, the young, look at that. Takes it all the way to the line. Oh, who was that? It looks like it might have been Edson Race running in at the far post. Trying to get his head onto that. It just maybe went over him. Couldn't get the height on his jump. 
that he needed to make the connection with that ball. But what a ball that was over the top from Devecchi, though, from that far side. So easy in possession. Certainly caught the goalkeeper out. Oh, oh, fantastic defending from Ampadu. Ampadu brings it forward now. He's looking for someone to play it to. Finds Greenwood. Greenwood plays through. Another through ball to Sanchez Ribas. Oh, goalkeeper makes a smart save over to his right-hand side to deny Sanchez Ribas his second goal in this one against Brighton. Good interception there from Race. Can't get it under control quick enough, though. Like I say, 1-0, 25 minutes or so played so far in this one. Away from home at the Amex, so... Oh, good defending from Lombo. Marva fucking Suarez. Not the best ball out from the back, though. Lombo Suarez having to track back now. Ampadu, Ampadu. Get him, get it away. Lombo, oh, Lombo. Again, a poor clearance from Lombo Suarez. Ethan Ampadu, stay out on him. That's sick. Get the block in. Strong header, strong header. Get it under control. Get it on the floor. That's it. Simple passing as we build on this counter attack now. The Vecchi stays on side. Oh, the Vecchi just gets out muscled by the defender for Brighton there. Does win a throw in though, which is always good. Looking for someone to play it to. Davis is there. Davis. Surging forward now to race. Oh, race. Keep it under control. No need to panic. Still alive. Sanchez rebass with his second. Look at that. I mean, he scores from wherever and whenever he wants. Absolutely sensational stuff from the young Spanish striker. Sanchez rebass has been with us for God knows how long now. And he's absolutely been killing it. I mean, he's got two goals in this one. It's looking like he might be on... For a hat-trick, Mason Greenwood scoring a hat-trick in the first game that we played in this live stream. Sanchez Ribas to get a hat-trick would be fantastic as well. Obviously our strikers both relatively unselfish. If they see the other player in a good position going forward, they will certainly give up the option uh, of scoring for themselves and try to find the better option for the team, which is always good. Teamwork makes the dream work. And that's what we are all about here at Grimsby Town. Mares, like I say, Mares playing for Brighton is a bit weird. Maybe coming up to the end of his career looking for easy money uh, to take home with him when he retires. But certainly interesting. Look at that. Oh, Greenwood with the ball through to Sanchez Ribas again. Oh, my God. The hat trick for Sanchez Ribas off a free assist from his strike partner. Mason Greenwood, look at that. These guys, look at this through ball, man. I mean, that was just sensational. Takes it in his stride, hits it with the outside of his right boot. Goalkeeper has no chance. Sanchez Rivas picks up the hat trick in the first half. As I say, Mason Greenwood picked up the hat trick in the first half in the first game that we played on this live stream. So it seems only fitting for his strike partner to also grab one. Um, yeah, like I say, I mean, these, these two strikers seem to be playing well together. They are certainly on the same wavelengths when it comes to going forward and creating chances for each other. Oh, look at that. Ampadu, right place at the right time to make that interception. Almost half-time now. There we go. There's a half-time whistle. Hat-trick for Sanchez Ribas. The away fans showing their appreciation at the Amex. Look at that. He scored three goals. He's had four shots and he scored three of them. He's been fantastic so far in this game. Hopefully we, we can score a couple more goals in the second half just to make our lives a bit easier. But, you know, we're all about the goal difference. It's been fantastic. Greenwood with three assists. Sanchez Ribas picking up all three goals with the first half hat-trick. So I can't really complain about how we've been playing. It's been sensational from everyone involved. Here we go now. Moore plays it forward to Sanchez Ribas. Oh, defender just gets across him just before he can take the touch and take it in his stride. Good defending from Lombo. Lombo, brilliant defending. Ampadu just calming it down. Here we go. Greenwood. Over the top ball to Sanchez Ribas with the fourth goal. Oh my god, another. Look at that. It's Sanchez Ribas and Mason Greenwood combining once more. Greenwood with the over the top through ball this time. 
Sanchez Rebus manages to take it in his stride. Bumps off the defender. Look at this. Oh, get, beats the defender. Hits it with his left foot. Fantastic goal. 4-0. Four, four goals for Sanchez Rebus. Oh, my gosh. That guy's on fire. Our strike force is on fire. Absolutely sensational stuff. And it's not even gone one hour in this game yet, so... Look at that, Sanchez Rebas getting back defensively, helping out his team defensively there. It's always good. Oh, Moore trying to get the ball out from under his feet. Just can't do so before the defender comes across and makes that challenge. Oh, however, Davis is there helping out his defence once more. Look at that, Sanchez Rebas. Greenwood. Sanchez Rebas to Greenwood now. Greenwood looking to get on the act. Is he? Oh, goalkeeper makes a great save. Over to his right hand side, almost making it 5-0. We are in cruise control so far in this game. Oh, here we go, Mason Moore, Mason Moore. Running forward, hits it. Ah, going for the spectacular. Going for the spectacular, you have to, you know, you have to when you're 4-0 up like that. We're going to try and bury some absolute screamers now in this second half. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players. And you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like. Oh, yeah, the Amex. The Amex is absolutely silent at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the fans are heading for the exits already. Comes a corner now. Good defending, good block from Edison Race. Here we go. Let's keep the clean sheet intact, lads. That's all we care about. You know, we've got a substitute goalkeeper in. Stay on him, stay on him. Get out of the way, get out of the way, Amp. There we go, Ampadu with a strong header. Now we can build on the counter-attack. Mason Moore, oh, I got confused. Definitely wasn't me just being blind. There we go, good defending there from Coman on that far side. Tracking back, doing his defensive duties again. Getting the block in there. And Edson Racing come away with the ball. Greenwood. Greenwood to Sanchez Rebas. Greenwood. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. It's cutting. It's cutting. Oh, straight to the goalkeeper. Perhaps had a better option over to his right hand side, but, you know, Sanchez Rebas has already got four goals. Greenwood definitely trying to get in on the act there. Fantastic cutback from that far side, making that run. Again. Strikers combining really well there. Just couldn't find the back of the net at the end of that move. Alright, here come Brighton on the counter-attack. Oh, they got Granite Xhaka as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. That's, that's alright. That's alright. Lemby is now coming on for Mason Moore. What a shift Mason Moore has put in for us today. Look at that. Sanchez Rebus has had five shots and... Four of them have, or five of them have been on target, and he scored four of them. So his conversion rate is fantastic. Oh, Greenwood with the long shot. Oh, we're just having fun now. We're just having fun. I mean, the game is dead and buried. The game was dead and buried after the first half, really. We're just trying to have some fun. Like I say, have some fun. Oh, goalkeeper looked like he had it covered. Lemby going for the long shot. I'm liking this man, I'm liking the efforts for the long shots. You know how we always love to do some long shots on this stream. Ampadu with a strong header. Greenwood. Greenwood, oh, straight at the goalkeeper, makes another great save. If it weren't for the Brighton goalkeeper, we would definitely be at least, you know, Two more goals to the good, maybe six, seven, nil. It's been fantastic from the lads going forward today. And defensively as well, we've done well, you know. Midfielders contributing with defensive efforts. So it's not just a defensive players. It's definitely, you know, a good effort from all of our lads involved. There we go. Final whistle, four nil away from home. You can hear the away fans erupt. And the home fans... A chorus of boos echoes around the Amex. Sanchez Rebas putting his hand up. Maybe a bit taking the piss, really. Saluting the home fans. Look at that. I mean, that was just a dominant performance yet again from us. 
Man City win 4-0 as well against Fulham away from home. Not sure where that puts us in the league, but it was a fantastic performance from everyone involved there. Hey, look, Sanchez Ribas is a bloody superstar. Of course he is. Give them full credit. You know, they, they played well, but I mean, the goalkeeper, you know what? We need to just, yeah, we need to focus on our next game Thank going you forward. So much for your time. It was phenomenal from the lads going forward in that game. Sanchez Ribas, four goals. How are we doing on the goal scoring front? We've got Greenwood in there with 10 goals from 11 matches. Where's Sanchez? Sanchez Rebass is down at 8 goals from 10 games. I mean, having two strikers on that list, some very similar to Manchester United with Rashford and Fisher both getting in on the act with 11 and 8 goals as well. So we're not doing too badly, you know. We are in 10th place, so mid table pretty much. That's exactly where we want to be come the end of the season as well. Lewis Green in there. It could be decent. We'll sign you up, mate. We'll, we'll get you in the in, in the youth squad. Nicholas Wright as well. I mean, we have to sign up some of these players. We're going to sign pretty much a lot of these players up that we have scattered already. Look at these guys all coming in brilliantly. Unfortunately, not you. Joel Cooper can come in. Why not? Jay Davis. Uh, George Cooper. I'm sorry about that, mate. Neither. Ah. Uh, so we signed up a good few players into our youth squad from the English scout. You're not good enough for me, mate. I'm sorry. Neither are you. I've got, I've got, you know, I've got high expectations from my youth players. Maybe that's just, uh, maybe it's a detriment to me. But I definitely have high expectations of my youth players. So someone coming in as a 41 to 49 is not going to cut it for me. Pedro Ramirez can come in. Santi Aguirre. Jose Paolo, no, see, look, who who is going to give me a potential of 68, man? Fernando Romero, I mean, you're a goalkeeper. We'll keep you in there for now. The same as you guys, just to narrow down. Ah, I didn't mean to sign you, mate, I'm sorry. I did not mean to sign that player, but... Ah, fuck it, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that at a later date. Ampadu, you played phenomenally well. Dude, you still have your place in the squad, don't worry. The lineup changes every week as well, Cabral. Look, these guys get butt hurt. As soon as I rotate the team, four goals for Sanchez Ribas and that last one was sensational. Honestly, can't believe it. I know it's only playing on professional difficulty, but I am really bad at FIFA. So that's all I'm going to say is that I'm really bad at FIFA. And if you guys want to judge me for playing on professional, then fair enough. Go ahead. I'm not going to stop you, but I am, uh, yeah, like I say, I'm not great at FIFA. So, And also, I'm not playing every single game. Sean Lee. Wants to go out on loan to Liverpool. Why not? I mean, we'll send him out on loan. He wants to go out on loan anyway. Obviously, we don't want to necessarily loan him out to a rival club. But we'll put him out on loan to Liverpool. Liverpool just above us in the league by three points in ninth place. Coming up against Fulham in the next game that we will sim. Chelsea have also shown an interest in Sean Lee. We're going to go ahead and accept that offer as well. Let's see those two teams battle it out for one of our up and coming youngsters, the right winger Sean Lee. Obviously, I think he'll probably get a lot of game, or hopefully, he gets a lot of game time in whatever team he does go to. Sanchez Rebass creeping up to 87 rated, same as Greenwood up to 83 now. 87, I mean, Sanchez Rebass, he's gonna get poached by someone, right? We need to like sign him to a max length contract with like 100 million buyout. That's what we need to do. Uh, we're going to put Adama Traore in there because he was complaining about a lack of game time. Lemby can go in there as well and so can Clifton. We're going to start Harrison up top with Sanchez Ribas. Keep him on there. Kabak can come into the defence and Marquez de Oliveira as well. And Padu up to 80 rated so that's always decent. It's always good to have better players obviously. We'll leave it at that. We'll see this game against Fulham. It's a home game. In December, our first game in December. Let's see how this goes. They're on a four-game losing streak. They've conceded 10 goals in the last three games. And we have scored, what, nine in our last two that we've played? Let's keep our fingers crossed. Come on. 2-0, Harrison. Ooh, with the double. Harrison, what a great game that was for him. Picking up two goals. Rotating the squad ever so slightly as well. That is what I'm talking about, lads. 
let's carry on with this training. Evans is he's doing okay. Bailey as well is is slowly getting up there. Obviously the training as they uh, get better takes a bit longer for us to improve them. Mate, you're still getting your game time, Edison. Don't worry about it. It's just a rotation. There we go. Look, we're up now above Liverpool, perhaps on goal difference. Race unsettled by lack of matches, mate. I take you out for one game and you complain to me. What is going on? What is going on with these players? I'm doing the best I can to try and make everyone happy and keep everyone happy. I'm trying to get the morale in the camp as high as possible. You know, we are doing well. To see the next game that we have to sit or the next game that we're gonna sim is gonna be the game against Southampton. But you can also see there that the game after Southampton is going to be against Man City. So that's the game that we're gonna be aiming to play, of course. So we're gonna attend this press conference for the Southampton game. Maybe rotate the squads, rotate the squad Welcome a tiny bit more. Start some questions now. You know what? It's our responsibility to try. We have to try and keep going as much as we can. Last game was fantastic. Harrison coming off the bench and starting for us was fantastic. Hey, look. You'll see what our form is like going Thank into this game against Southampton. Obviously got a big game coming up just around the corner in the Christmas period as well. We know that the games are going to be coming thick and fast. So, we're going to have to certainly be on top of our game for a large part of this. You know what? Race was complaining. We'll put you on uh, Bay. I don't want Lee there. Lee is out on loan. We can put Bailey in instead. Rogel can come back into the side. Let's put Coman on the left hand side. And you know what? We're going to start in Dilu as well up top alongside Harrison. Give Sanchez Rebas a bit of a rest. Definitely deserves it after the way that he's been playing for us. And like I say, the next game after this one that we sim is going to be. A game against Man City that we are going to play, so definitely going to be a tough one. We need all of our best players for that. Look at that, Harrison again! Harrison starts. I mean, he got himself a red card in the 80th minute, but Harrison started the game. He started the games twice in a row in the simmed games, and he scored two in each game, home and away. Harrison looks like he's a decent, you know, a decent player to have on the pitch when we sim games. Fantastic though, look, we're up into 8th, we're up into 8th place, we're going to be playing against Man City, just to try and make things a bit more interesting. Like I say, I don't want to, I don't want to overachieve this season, I want to try and keep it as realistic as possible, but we're going to be playing against Man City, I don't know if it's going to be against them away from home or not. Let's see how this goes, we'll swim forward against Man City. What's going on here? We are playing them at home. Sanchez Rebas complaining about not being played. Dude, you're going to play. You're 87. You are by far and away our best player. There's no way you're not going to play this game. Especially against the likes of Manchester City. So don't you worry about that, mate. You're going to definitely come back into the team. Along with your partner in crime, Mason Greenwood. We're going to reinstill the best team that we can put out on the pitch. Davis can go in there. We're going to put Lombos Suarez back there. Uh, where is Linz? Linz can go on the bench for me. Why the hell not? And so can Adama Traore. And Dilu has to be on the bench because we don't really have a backup striker because Harrison got himself sent off. But we'll leave it at that. We will leave it at that for now. All right, like I say, we're going to play this game against Man City. It's a big game at home at Blondell Park against the mighty Man City. Let's see how this goes. I'm also going to quickly go and turn off my radiator because it's getting a bit hot in my room. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, apologies for that, I just had to go and turn off my radiator, turned it on just to warm myself up a little bit, but getting a bit too hot in here, so 
Just have to go and turn it off. Hopefully it cools itself down very soon. Look at this. Grimsby at home to the mighty Manchester City. Live from Blundell Park. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully we can uh, at least make a good account of ourselves against... I don't know if they're the Premier League champions. I think Tottenham are the Premier League champions. But certainly one of the Premier League's best sides in recent years. De Vecchi. Cuts back. Oh, deflected over. Thought that might have been creeping in at the far post. Let's go. Whip that ball in. Oh, it's just over. Just over from, who's that? Devecchi getting up to meet that whipped in cross from the far side. Looks like they've still got Edison in between the sticks. Sane as well is playing. Ampadu, however, with that strong header to win the possession back. Looks for Sanchez Ribas. Greenwood. Mason Moore, the captain. Oh, it's come back off the post. Oh, no. What's going on there? Davis. Wraith. Oh, it's too easy for, Ed for, for Edison there. Maybe not, not enough power on it. Look at that again. Brilliant header from defender. Greenwood. Oh, Greenwood, the former Manchester United player, coming back to tr almost haunt his local boyhood rivals, Manchester City. Ampadu, away, get it away. Good defensive header there. It looked like that was from Cabral doing defensive duty, coming in from the left-hand side. Oh, De Vecchi, oh, he's not, he's not that quick. Sane is, is quite a pace beast, if I'm being honest. Rodri is still playing for Man City as well. Ampadu tries to show him down the line. Lombo Suarez is across the cover. Oh, they're being fancy with it. They're doing the Man City. Lombo Suarez, that's us. Oh, come on, ref. Don't, don't fall for that. Sane. They come Man City now. Playing it through to Rodri. Rodri tries to play it through to the Manchester City striker. Just. We managed to cut it out just in time. The Vecchi is there. Look at that. Dribbling control from the Vecchi. Greenwood. Oh, the power on that shot. How the hell does Edison save that? I mean, it was straight at him, but that came at him, you know, at like 100 miles an hour almost. That was a ferocious shot. His hands must be stinging after that one. Has to be. He's offside. There we go. Ampadu just holds his run there. Looks like they've got Sebastian Allaire. Man City have signed Sebastian Allaire from West Ham. So, big things for Allaire coming. Oh, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. That's good, that's good. Half an hour come. Still nil nil. Holding our own against Man City. Can't complain about that. Oh, good challenge uh, from the Man City midfielder. Greenwood. Oh, more. Or was that Davis? It looks like it might have been Davis venturing forward there. Here comes Rodri now. I don't know where KDB is. I don't know if KDB is retired or if he's moved on somewhere else. But it doesn't look like he's starting for Man City today. Oh my god, get it away Ampadu. Ampadu easy. Easy. Ampadu is having a game and a half. He had a good game in the last one that we played. Greenwood. He's through. With the fence splitting pass. Greenwood is through. There we go. 1-0. Mason Greenwood. Just after the half hour mark. Let's go. Doing the Tim Cahill celebration over in the corner. 38 minutes played. Fantastic well, you could for Mason Goodwood. Look at that defensive focus on the great play. defense splitting pass. Maybe calm, I thought he maybe took a bit of an extra touch well, there. He didn't really need to. He got too close to the goalkeeper, but fantastic finish nonetheless from Mason Greenwood. 11 goals now in the Premier League. The Absolutely game. sensational. I mean. I feel like Man City might have just edged the possession stat so far in the first half, but certainly in terms of going forward and you know creating chances and being, you know, uh, uh, certainly I don't I can't remember the last time that oh I don't even think Ricky had have had I don't even think Ricky has had to make a save in this game so far. So 
We've been relatively untroubled, the young goalkeeper in between the sticks for us. They're always good. Oh, Ampadu gets caught out there. Good defending there, though, from Edson Race. Devechi. Lombo, Suarez on his outside. He's cutting back inside. Oh, Lombo. Oh, not Lombo. Sanchez rebound. Sorry. There we go. 1 0. 1 0 half time. That's alright. That's alright. I'm not going to complain about being 1 0 up against Man City. Bernardo Silva hasn't really done anything with that. He's had one touch in this entire game. Kept him relatively silent. You know, we're not trying to target any player. But it just so happens to be that Bernardo Silva, arguably one of Man City's most creative players, has been relatively subdued in this game. Which is always, always good for us when we're coming up against Man City. If we can subdue one of their most creative players, can't really ever complain about that. Good defending. Ampadu again, mopping it up. Here we go, Sanchez Ribas. Ooh, unlucky, mate. Unlucky. I appreciate that. Good, good interception. That's it. Calm it down. Ampadu is there. Always, he's always there as the outlet option. Oh, Devechi just gets dispossessed on the far side. Oh, look at them! Now just showing off now. Oh, Lombo, Lombo, Suarez cutting it out. There we go, Cabral. He finds Cabral on this near side. Acres of space to run into. He's trying to cut back in now. Sanchez rebound's gone away from his man. He goes for a shot. Oh, he just takes an extra touch. And finds himself running into the Manchester City defender. Man City playing it out from the back. Cancelo. Cancelo still playing for them. Well, this is Offside. The brilliant defensive line team. being held we there as well. Lemby coming off the bench. Sterling, Sterling is coming off the bench pass. for Man City. For what looked to be Leroy Sane. So, see how that goes. Oh, there he is again getting his first touch. Sterling making a crucial interception in the middle of the pitch. Oh, uh, Moore almost making an interception himself, but he just can't get the ball under control. City have it now. His Smith for Man City. I imagine one of their young players coming through to Manchester City Academy. Bernardo Silva's there. Already had a good couple of touches in the last couple of moments. Oh, good interception there just to keep them out. Mason Moore now bringing it forward. Plays it to Greenwood or Sanchez Ribas even. Oh, he's looking for the through ball. Over on the far side to the Vecchi. Just can't find him. Get out of the way. That's offside. That's offside. How's he on offside there? I thought that was offside, but unlucky. I mean, just over 20 minutes left here in this game. Sanchez Ribas has been okay today. Greenwood. Greenwood! Oh, Edison. Makes another smart save down to his left-hand side. Greenwood looking to double his goal tally in today's game. Oh, it's a good, good, good headed clearance away from Manchester City. Greenwood! Oh, I was surprised. I was surprised that Greenwood even had that opportunity there. And it looked like it might have fallen to... Adama Traore almost, but it wasn't to be. Adama Traore playing on this left-hand side. Look at that. Just mop it up. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Greenwood. He finds Greenwood. Oh, Greenwood. Ref, where's the advantage? Come on. There was definitely the advantage to be played there. Oh, Ampadu. Coming across. Finds Traore now. Traore, I think, obviously being linked with Man City in real life. But obviously also being linked with his hometown, or his home country of Spain with Real Madrid and Barcelona. After playing well for Wolves in the Premier League so far this season. De Vecchi. Adama! Oh, that's a... That's the corner. There we go. There we go. Well done, ref. Good call. Coman is coming on, making our final substitution here now. Whip it in. Good punch from Edison. Good punch. Just see that out. Or oh, keep it in, Sanchez. Rebass. There we go. Lemby. 
Oh, Lemby has Edison scrambling across to his left hand side, almost scores it, almost makes it 2 0. Uh, Edison maybe had it covered. Need to really be getting those on target. Lemby not the most known for his goal scoring prowess, but here we go now. That's it, Coman, keep it on. Look at that, look at that. Easy. Oh. Calm it down, calm it down, guys. Don't have to do anything stupid. There we go. Davis has got it now. The referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. A highly purposeful attack. This. The emphasis on Greenwood the to Davis. Forward. Davis has still got it. Plays it to Coman. Coman to Sanchez Rebas. Turns on a penny. Look at that. The swivel. Edison just not expecting that. Fantastic goal from Sanchez Rebas to make it 2-0. Look at this. Brilliant ball from Lemby. Just turns on a sixpence. Gets it past the defender. And Edison just can't see. Defender commits. Gets his shot away. Edison just a bit slow to react. There we go. 2-0. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Fantastic home victory here against Man City. And keeping the clean sheet as well. Always, always, always a plus. Look at that, they only had two shots and none of them were on target, which that's always fantastic, you know, it's always good news when we can limit the opposition to only two shots and to have none of them on target. Daniele Wiki not really being forced to do anything in that game, taking it relatively easy. Some questions regarding the match. Hey look, you know what? We knew it would be a challenge, but two nils fantastic. Uh I mean the scoreline was definitely unfair to Man City, but yeah, we, we can learn from the Man City defence. Thanks so much, Ron. For sure we can. You know, they are an established Premier League side. Dujon Sterling is now complaining at us. Oh, mate. Uh, uh, you still have your space in the squad. Don't worry. I mean, we'll probably end up selling you at some point anyway. We've got risk of losing three players. Harry Clifton, Bridge and Dilu, and Ryan Campbell-Gordon are all at risk. Let's go here. And Dilu, Patrick Bailey. Let's delegate your renewal. Whoa. Whoa. You want that much contract? Are you being serious? Wow. I guess that's what you get for being a Premier League club, right? Everyone wants good money. Uh, Patrick Bailey. There we go. Harry Davis, Sam Davis can definitely be renewed. Maybe not Harry Davis and Harry Clifton. I think we're going to have to let these two guys go, to be honest. They're not really getting any game time for us. Cordero's there, 70 rated. Charlie Wright is there as our, one of our loaned out goalkeepers. We might have to recall him. I think I'm going to leave him out there for now. We signed up some of our players to contracts, which is always good. Not sure how our finances are looking. Oh, wow, look at that. The budget is not good at all. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at that. We've got £20 in our transfer budget. Jesus Christ. Maybe we need to sell some players to fix that situation. Maybe we need to sell some players to fix that. Coming up to the end of December, so certainly we'll be looking to get rid of some of the players that aren't playing for us. Kingsley of Fire is back in training. Lombo Suarez. Uh, I'll make sure of it, mate. You're 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 definitely gonna be uh need to sign you to a max contract one hundred percent. There's absolutely no doubt about that. You know what, we're gonna leave that team on there. We're gonna leave the team on there for now. We're gonna sim this game against Arsenal, a home game against Arsenal. See how this goes. They've lost the last two against Man City and Atletico Madrid. Oh, they do win this one against us though. Pepe and Melendo picking up the goals for Arsenal. Crystal Palace up next on Boxing Day in 2024. Let's stop the simulation. Got uh, Kingsley of Fire. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to block offers for him actually because he needs to stay in our squad because we don't have a backup goalkeeper. 
we are going to go ahead and go into the player development. Do we have a fire in here? We're going to put a fire in the training as well. Let's get Kingsley a fire in training. Seems like he definitely needs to work. So there we go. Let's get Kingsley a fire in the training. As I say, he's going to be our number one backup goalkeeper for quite some time this season. Until Pereira comes back. Got a game against Palace and then a game against Leeds. Ooh, going to be interesting games indeed. Two games that we perhaps should be winning. And D Luke can go there. Triore can go on the right. I don't know why Green. Oh, yeah, Green is going to go out on loan in January. That's why. We'll put Linz there. Lemby can start and then we'll put. Uh, where is my guy Harry Clifton? There he is. Clifton, still a relatively young player, you know. I didn't realize he was only 26, but he's just not as good as some of our like 21 year olds. Let's put Kaba Kabak back into the team, and Danielli Ricky will get a fire on the bench just because we need some coverage on the bench in terms of our goalkeeper. So put a fire on the bench for race for now just for this game just for this game race please do not hate me I know that you will first seamless one away from home against Crystal Palace see how this is going come on they're in a bit of a mixed run of form 1-0 though they beat us 1-0 O'Connor picking up the goal for Palace at home against Rims V so Two games, two losses, two simmed games, two losses. It's uh, less than ideal. Danielli Ricky saying thanks for showing faith in me, mate. You have to, you know, try all right. You're brilliant. You're doing great, mate. You're doing great. And Patrick Bailey, you still definitely have your place in the squad, dude. Don't you worry about that. Try and, uh, you know, we need to sell some players, really. I don't want to manage Russia. Not yet. At least, well, not ever, should I say. So, let's go ahead. Matty Pollock's found himself at Girona for some reason. Uh, we're going to have a look at our squad. We need to sell some players. We need to sell some players is what we need to do. Harry Davis can be added to the con transfer list. Harry Clifton is on the transfer list already. I want to put him on the transfer list. He already is on the transfer list. Dufresne is out on loan. Got quite a few players out on loan. Edwards, you can be put on the transfer list. Uh... I remove him from the transfer list and then he's still on there. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Marcus Dollar, very, you can stay there. Lemby. Kind of have to stay there, don't you, mate? Lopez Galachi, not really getting any game time for us at the moment. I think Ryan Campbell Gordon. How old is he? He's 23. Lopez Galachi is 18. We'll add you to the transfer list. Add Dujon, not to the loan list. I want to add him to the transfer list. Not really getting a lot of game time for us. Uh, who else is there? Cabral, Greenwood, Lombos, Suarez, Devecchi, Sanchez, Ribas. Sanchez, Ribas is not going anywhere. He's definitely not going anywhere. The one player that's not leaving my team at all. Alright, so we got Leeds next, and we got Man United on the 1st of January 2025. Lombo Suarez telling me the game is crucial coming up. I'm glad we're aligned, Harry Davis. I'll give you a chance. Don't worry, Lombo Suarez. You can come back into action for this game against Leeds that we are going to sim. Purely based on the fact that we've got Man United in the next game, and I kind of want to play against Manchester United again. You know what I'm like against the big teams. I do like to play the big teams and sim quite a few of the games against the lower teams that we should theoretically be beating. But it also makes it a lot more interesting if we don't win the games that we should be winning as well. So 
we're going to put race back on the pitch we're going to drop davis down there and then we are going to put mason moore there as well lombo Suarez is complaining at me for some reason we are going to put rogel on the pitch uh try and improve his morale slightly uh is that all we need we've got harry clifton there we're gonna put clifton out for Ferrer or, or Linz even harrison coman that's probably good enough right that looks like it's good enough we're gonna sim this game against Leeds and then play our final game on the stream which will be against manchester united so hopefully we can win here against Leeds. they've lost their last two We've lost our last two as well. And it's nil-nil. Um, uh, I mean, I'll t it's, it's not a loss. So I'll take it, I guess. But it's... Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, guys. I expect more from you, Edson. There's definitely room for improvement. Francisco. Don't you worry about that. Got to try and sort out Lombo Suarez's contract as soon as possible as well because seems to be getting a little bit jealous that there are other players in the team who are on more money than him and quite rightly so because he is actually one of our best players so definitely have to uh, sort that out fairly soon Sean Murphy's there Oliver Mason can stay in a Will Edwards ah yes I have no money so I can't sign any of you even if I wanted to brilliant that's why I'm trying to sell some players Trying to get rid of the dead wood that just doesn't play for us. Reject, reject, reject. You can stay in there and reject. Another goalkeeper. We seem to be finding goalkeepers like there's no tomorrow. Honestly, all the time. It's just, look, another goalkeeper. Reject you, reject you, and reject you. Well, let's get into it. Final game on the live stream against Manchester United. Obviously beat their rivals Man City in the last game that we played. Three games ago, would you believe? Thank you guys, we'll be taking some questions now. Hey look, you know what, we will do our best to beat Manchester United. We have to. Uh, we just have to focus on playing well, that's all we have to do. I hope, yeah, definitely the whole squad needs to contribute in this one. It's going to be a tough game Apologies. against Manchester United, so let's get into it. I think this is probably the team that we will play. Probably the best team that we can field at the moment. Maybe apart from putting Linz in the middle. Maybe Kabak can come back instead of Rogel as well. And we will put Linz in there. Look at that. Linz is up to 81. So why the hell not, mate? Why are we not going to start you? Let's go. Looking decent. Looking decent. The squad is looking okay. Like I say, this is the first game in January 2025 coming up against Manchester United the final game on a live stream let's get straight into it see how we do away from home against Manchester United gonna be a diff difficult game I'll be happy if we can pick up a point away from home but we're obviously gonna try for all three oh rocket Oh, come on, let's just skip this. There we go. As the top scorer in the Ooh, Marcus no Rashford. To top goal scorer. The and the captain for Manchester United. We've got Greenwood obviously coming back to his old club. Old Trafford awaits Grimsby Town. David De Gea still in between the sticks for Manchester United. Rashford versus Greenwood is very much going to be the talking point of today's game. I think this last game we just about beat Man United, but it was really unrealistic because, yeah, I mean, I actually can't remember if we beat them. I think that we played Man United when we were still trying to play on world-class difficulty. And I think it was, a. Uh, there we go. Look at that, good ball, good out ball. Greenwood is there. Oh, unlucky. There we go, Greenwood. Lombo Suarez. Oh, why'd you take that shot more? 
Shouldn't have taken that shot, to be honest, but well, let's join it's worth it. I mean, it was worth it. Get a shot off. It's a goal for Manchester City. Manchester City beating Leeds 1-0, ready away from home. Well, it's tight at the top and extremely tense. Manchester City on 53, Man United on 51, Spurs and Arsenal. Look at that, the gap back to Arsenal from Spurs, seven points. We could really put a dent in Manchester United's title hopes if we beat them here, away from home at Old Trafford. What a win it would be as well. And Padu there to mop up at the back. Play it out now. Here we go. Moore. Moore looking to run. Create something on the counter. Well, it is without question a very special day. This his debut match. What ought we to expect from him today, Lee? Well, Derek, Here we go. Greenwood. Oh. For them. Unlucky. Oh, unlucky. Well, unlucky. In my book. Strong, quick. Reads the game really well. Smells out oh, there. ref. He's a ref. For me. Colossus. Given away by oh, my gosh. Ref. Again. The there we go, there we go. The Vecchi! Greenwood is there to mop up the scraps. Oh, he's offside, what? No way. No way, Greenwood's offside. I thought he might have just held his run up. Oh, it looks like he just got a bit too eager to get on top of that save from the Gea. Man United get away with one there, you'd like to think. Here comes Marcus Rashford now. Man United on a counter-attack. Ampadu! Oh my word, Ampadu. Ampadu's been fantastic for us in the last couple of games that we have played. Seems like a decent shout, a decent buy. Oh, look at this. Cabral is through on this near side. The Vecchi is through now. Wins the corner there. Here we go. Whip it in. We force them to make the defensive header there. You can see the away fans up high at Old Trafford. Oh, just can't control the header there. Who's that? Cabral, it looks like. Or Ozan. Ozan Kabak just can't get his head under control. Would have been nice to at least get it on target, but... Hey-ho, what are you going to do? Neves. What are you going to do? Sanchez. Ruben Neves? It's with Ruben Neves. Why, do you, why, why do these commentators say it like that, man? James. I mean, I know that like, it's just like they're, they're, they're trying to put on a really bad Portuguese accent. Ruben Neves. I believe there's been a goal in the Wolves game. Let's here we go, here we go. From Allen. It's a goal Let's go, Greenwood. Greenwood is through, Greenwood. Greenwood, go. Oh! Oh, how? Oh, how have we not scored yet? Honestly, how the hell have we not scored yet? We've forced David De Gea to make a good couple of saves in quick succession there. I still don't know how this game is 0-0. We obviously had the ball in the back of the net, but it was offside. Daniel James now running at our defence. Sam Davis just can't keep up with him. Ampadu is there, though, to block it once again. The unsung hero of this defensive lineup, for sure, over the last couple of games. Oh, poor, poor race. Good tackle, good tackle, Sam Davis. Stay on it, stay on it. Ampadu, Ampadu. Calm it down, Nasik Cabral. Good defensive duty there. Nil-nil at half-time. We should definitely be at least one goal up in this one. David De Gea has made a good couple of saves. We had the ball in the back of the net, but it was ruled out for offside with Mason Greenwood after Sanchez Rebath had his shot saved by De Gea and it fell into the path of Greenwood. I thought he was onside. He just strayed fractionally offside, so got everything to do here in the second half against Manchester United. We kick it off now. Oh, like I say, we definitely should be at least one goal up against Manchester United here at Old Trafford, but it wasn't to be. Ampadu again. Ampadu has been fantastic for us, by the way, guys. Oh, why are you doing this to me? I mean, Manchester United are going for the title. They're only two points behind league leaders Man City, who we did beat in our last game that we played, but 
definitely proving to be a lot more difficult to break down than Manchester City were. Look at that though, brilliant interception. Oh, Greenwood, Greenwood. Oh, come on, trying to be too intricate with it. Trying to be too intricate with it. You just need to keep it down on the ground, really. You see that? Ampadu, go across the cover. Get it away. Good header, good header. Here we go. Sanchez rebats is through. He's waiting for Greenwood. Greenwood. He's ref! That's a red. That has to be a red. That's a red card, right? Yes! There we go. Kimpembe has been sent off for a red card, I mean. Definitely. Look at that. No doubt about it. Alright. What are we doing here? Uh, where, what, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to go there. Oh, I mean, we get it on target. Forced ahead to make a save. Maybe just not enough power behind it. Nice little side-footed shot. It looks like Devecchi could be the go-to man for the free kicks from now on, though. Right, we need to score now. We need to go all-out attack. We have to go ultra-attacking. They're down to 10 men. I don't know if they've made a substitution to bring on a defender, but they've lost one of their defenders. We have to go all-out attack. Oh, that would have been a fantastic through ball. Oh, unlucky. Don't slide in. Don't do anything rash. Just because they've gone down to 10 doesn't mean we need to go down to 10 as well. Oh my gosh, they're still dismembering us at the back here, even though they are a man lighter. Oh my god, Daniele Ricci. Oh. That's it. Good distribution now. Good throw out from the goalkeeper. Oh, come on. What is going on? No, don't, don't do, don't. Why, why, why are you trying to take the mick? Away, away, away. Goalkeeper. Oh my gosh, Daniele Ricci. Had to get that. There we go. Calm it down. Sanchez Rebas over here. Ah. Oh, they managed to get it clear. 15 minutes left here in the second half. We definitely should be 1-0 up at least. Like I say, we've had the goal in the back of the net. It was ruled out for offside. The right decision, only marginally offside. Oh, De Gea makes a great save again. Oh my gosh. Harrison's coming on the pitch now. Whip it in. Headed it back across. Goal! Oh, De Gea is there again. Oh, it's not been good. It's not been good. We need to win this game, the final game on the stream. We've gone all out attack. We've gone ultra attacking. That's why we are, you know, we're throwing caution to the wind, really. You can see Ampadu is playing far forward. Oh, my gosh. He's offside, though. Good defensive line. Right, we're making a final substitution. Edison Race is coming on. For Mason Moore. Let's go. We've got Traore here. Traore is running. Don't know what that pass was. It's worked out though. Ampadu playing a lot further forward than he normally would be. Oh, what was that? Same effort. Same effort, Edson. Damn. We should be we should be one nil up. You know, this this is why we're not gonna be at the top of the league anytime soon. We've had our chances. We just haven't been able to make the most of them against Manchester United. A well organized Man United side, it must be said. Obviously they've been down to ten men for like the last half hour of this game or so. We had the goal and we had the ball in the back of the net. Let's just not concede right now, please. Oh, Ricky pulls out a stunning stop to keep it at nil nil. Keep it in. There we go. Full time whistle blows. Nil nil. Final score against Manchester United at Old Trafford. They seem a bit disappointed with that. It's a good result for us, picking up a point away from home. De Gea definitely kept them in the game throughout that one. Fantastic. I mean, they went down to ten men. We should have perhaps capitalised. Bit of an upset there. Marcus Rashford, the captain for Man United, the top goal scorer in the Premier League as well at the moment, not able to do anything against our 
Grimsby Town defence. De Gea, as I say, definitely the man of the match in that one, keeping his side in it throughout the entire of that game. Look at that. We restricted them to one shot only in that entire game. Uh, that was a tough one to take. It's a tough build to swallow, but like I say, it's against Man United, who are competing with Man City for the Premier League at the moment. Man City pick up a win 4-1 away from home against Leeds. So, further extend the lead at the top of the table. Hi there, have you got a minute for a question? Devecchi, Devecchi, you know what, he deserves all the praise. The guy is a madman. We should have won. We should have won. I, I'm just going to say that. We should have won. I mean, the stats say everything. Uh, how would I approach our problems? Fatigue, you know, it's just a lot of a lot no of games in December. A lot of games in December. HGR, good game. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, it was uh, it was okay. I mean, not the best, but yeah. Cheers, dude. We should have we should have won. We should have won. That's all I'm saying. We should have won that game. But like I say, we're gonna swim forwards. Next game is in the FA Cup against Derby. We're trying to sort out. We're trying to sell some of our players. We don't have any transfer money. I'm not getting rid of Mason Greenwood though. Even though Juventus want Mason Greenwood. Or I could cash in on him for 82.7 million. I'm going to leave that until the next episode. I'm going to leave that until the next episode. Because we could potentially get rid of Mason Greenwood. Even though I don't want to. It would solve our financial situation. Dujon Sterling, oh yes mate, give me, give me all of that money. Let's negotiate, or should we just accept? Nah, we need to negotiate, because we can get him to be sold for 14 million, so we need to do that, we, we, we have to. Like I say, I don't want to get rid of Greenwood, so this is probably the only way that we can do it. We are going to propose a new transfer fee, we want 14 million at least for him, please. Uh, what about 13? What about 13, mate? Give, give, match, match me at 13. That's, that's, that's closer to you than to my evaluation. Hey, 13 million for Dujon Sterling, though. That's decent. That'll sort out our financial, financial situation quite a lot. I'll give you a chance, maybe, mate. I'll rotate the squad around a bit. But like I say, guys, we're going to end the live stream here. The next game, in the, or in the first game in the next episode, or next live stream rather, is going to be FA Cup game against Derby at home. We obviously need to make it into the round of 16, I believe, in the FA Cup this season. So we need to get one, one round further um, than we normally would have to. But we're definitely going to try and yeah make it at least into the round of 16 uh, in the FA Cup. But yeah, like I say guys, thank you very much for joining me this evening, this Monday evening in January hope you guys have had a fantastic day as well so yeah like i say i don't know when i'm going to be streaming next but hopefully in the next couple of days at least i'll be back with some more fifa 20 career mode with Grimsley town but for now guys i will see you later